How you doing guys? So check this out. I'm gonna tell you about the importance of vacant properties. One of my students found this property just riding through. That's why I tell people, you gotta look, look around you, man. Check out properties. See, look at this one with the high grass. You got high grass out here. The grass, the grass, the grass was higher than this when he first sent me the picture. But let's go inside. Let me show you what you look for. Cause I'm gonna show you the importance of vacant properties. This house here is actually free and clear also. So we, you know, we got the, found the property, mailed to him. You know, we had to do a couple of follow-ups to get in contact with him, but we finally got in contact with the lady. She tried to do some repairs on it herself, but that HGTV stuff, it don't work, man. This is realistic, this reality. You, people think jumping into rehab, that's the first thing you wanna get into. That's the last thing you wanna get into. You, you, you come out better wholesaling, a wholesale lease option, get you some quick cash, get you some cash in your pocket, then do your um, rehab. So just like she found out, this is a big project. So now she don't want, she don't want nothing to do with it. So it's money for us. Let's go inside. So she tried to get started. You know, they, they pulled up the carpet. They did a little paint. The paint job looked pretty good. But as you can see, they haven't finished the electrical on the property. Now this stain here, it could be just a normal stain or it could mean that they had a dog or a cat, which will leave a real stinking smell in. This is the kitchen area. They haven't done any unless because they took all the cabinets out. So now she really realized that this really is a big job for somebody who, who don't do this every day. Rehab guys, you, you gotta you gotta have your um all your ducks in a row before you get involved with a big project. Cause it will cost you. So it looks like they put a little tile in here. So we still got an unfinished um, bathroom. The floor, got a hole in the floor here. Electrical not done. They still did like a little painting, like I said. That's the only work I really see done. Still got windows broken. You gotta come in and do the floor. These stairs here, they're shot. They gotta be redone. So all these stairs got to be redone, which she found out later on. And I'm going to tell you the ultimate jackpot here, guys, that's really going to make a big difference for us is this basement here. So we go inside the basement, right? Guess what? To our, to our surprise, the basement is full of water, which means it's a leak down here, which means if it's a leak, there's more. Let's see if you can see that. So you got water all down here, and I can smell the mold. Let's get out of here. So I mean, we've got a leaky basement, which even sweetened up the pot for us. And this is a three bedroom, two bath. Jackpot, vacant property. This is actually one we didn't, we didn't have to, you know, this didn't come from market. It just came from a drive by. So guys, in, in all of, you know, in all of this is what I'm saying, look around, look around while you're driving Look for high grass. You want to look for high grass. You want to look for a property that's basically look like somebody abandoned, abandoned the property. Those are jackpots. You get in contact with the seller, you can make a lot of money.